Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the oil and oil filter on a John Deere D130. And this is also going to be the same process for the D140. I'm going to walk you through all the parts, tools, and steps needed to complete this project. It's a very simple process and it should save you some money. So let's get started. Alright, since my tractor is over 50 hours, I'm going to be doing a 50 hour maintenance on it. So the first step is to change the oil. I do recommend buying this kit online. It's the LG275. It comes with all the parts that you need, including the two quarts of oil, a new oil filter. It also comes with an air filter, a fuel filter, and new spark plugs. I will be making additional videos on how to change those as well. So if you'd like to see how those are done, feel free to subscribe. All right, so this project, you're gonna need two quarts of oil. This is 10W30 Turf Guard from John Deere. You're also going to need a oil filter, which is AM125424C. You're gonna need a funnel, an oil filter wrench. You're also gonna need a oil drain pan. You need a piece of cardboard. This is going to help direct the oil away from the mower so it doesn't get in your frame. And then just some all dirty rags and a paper towel. Also down in the description, I'll leave a link to all the parts and tools that I used here today. All right, so first up, just go ahead and open up your cover. Your mower may have a cover piece on here, which we're going to have to take off. And this is an eight millimeter socket. And that just has one bolt that holds it on right here. piece just comes off like that. So as you can see it's pretty dirty. It's been about 50 hours or a little bit more since the last time I did a change on this. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up real quick and then I'll show you how to change the oil. Um, this is going to be your drain valve. So what you're going to do is you're just going to push it in and then turn it to the right and it's going to come out of that little groove right here. First, we're going to make sure we have our drip pan in place, so let's get that real quick. Alright, so I did let the engine run for about 10 minutes, um, so the oil should come out pretty quickly. So just make sure your pan's underneath this little drain plug. It's a good idea to also loosen the top cap, just so it'll drain a little bit easier. And then, like I said, just push it in and then turn it clockwise. And it should pop right off and it'll immediately start coming out. So just be careful. Just got to give it a little bit of a pull. Just make sure your pan is underneath to catch it all. And then just let that drain for about five, 10 minutes until it comes to a slow drip. And then we're gonna go ahead and let that drain out. And while that's draining, we're gonna go ahead and also remove the oil filter. That way any oil that's trapped in there will also drain out to the bottom as well. All right, so now we come to the other side of the motor. There's also a screw here that we have to remove to be able to get to the oil filter which is right here. So it's going to be the same eight millimeter bolt. Okay. And that just pulls away from there. Got a little groove right there. Little tabs just pull out from there. Just set that off to the side for now. All right, this is where it kind of gets messy. That's why it's a good idea to have some cardboard. What you're gonna do is just slide that up underneath there like that. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow the oil to not get all over your frame and it's gonna glide down here and then fall down into a pan down below. So you might need to move your tires to get the pan in a good spot. your pans underneath the drain. Take your filter wrench, put it right on in here. Okay. Just twist it off. Make sure your cardboard didn't move. If it does, it's fine. You got rags to clean it up. And then just go ahead and turn it off like this. And then it's like a fall. And it's just going to drain right down into there. off Let's sit down there. and then just move your cardboard out of the way you might still get a little bit on the frame just go ahead and clean that off 
take your new filter. Uh, I'm just going to take a little bit of the old oil. Most people say not to do this, but I like to get a good seal on it. So I'm going to rub some of that on there until that gasket gets nice and lubed up. Okay. And you're just going to take it and you're going to put it back on hand tight. No need to over tighten it and just make sure you don't cross thread it. Just get it tight and then give it, give it as hand tight as you can get it. You don't need to use the wrench to tighten it back on. Just get it to where it won't turn anymore by hand. It's good to go. Now we're gonna go back on the other side and put the drain plug cap back on. So we're back on the other side. This has come to a slow drip now. So I'm just gonna take the cap, actually cleaned it up pretty good, and we'll put it back on. Just make sure it goes back on that little pin right here. And it slides down, and then you turn it counterclockwise till it locks in place. All right, so next now we're just gonna fill it up with oil. This is the 22 horsepower motor. So it'll take two quarts to fill it up. Put your funnel in here. All right, go ahead and remove your funnel and replace your dipstick. I'm going to let it run for a second so the oil can cycle through the oil filter. And then we're going to check the level and we'll be good to go. Alright, so just let it cool down and then we're going to check the level. So let's just check the oil level. And it's right in between the two dots. So we're good to go. All right, well, that's how you change the oil on a John Deere D130 and D140. If you found the video helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see the rest of the 50 hour maintenance schedule, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.